We are off of International Drive right by Icon Orlando for a little preview ride of the brand new Starflyer. This is the world's tallest swings, 450 feet. I mean, it's we're talking way up there. I'm a, I'm a little bit nervous, but I love some swings, so let's check it out. It is the tallest swings in the world. We already said it was 450 feet. What else can you tell me about it? How fast does it turn? Yeah, so again, it is the world's tallest swing ride, so it's 450 feet. Uh, the ride has 24 seats. Uh, they're double seats, so there's a seat belt and a, an in-between leg harness that holds you in that can only be released by the operator. The ride uh, can travel up to 60 miles an hour, but we don't run it at 60 miles an hour because most people wouldn't come back if we ran it at 60 miles an hour. So it generally averages around about 45 miles an hour. And the other interesting thing about it is it can operate in 45 mile an hour winds. But again, the same thing, we won't be operating in 45 mile an hour winds because we want to give people a really good, <laughs> thrilling experience, but we'd like them to like it and come back. Yeah, no, 60 miles an hour, that sounds... That sounds pretty intimidating. It's pretty cool. I think, uh, you know, when you get the opportunity, you'll see it. And it's be because you're just so high up and you're free and th there's nothing around you. You know, you've got these chains holding you on that uh, that look a little bit small, but I can assure you each one of the chains can hold about 4,000 kilos. So uh, in total, is, you know, there's over 3,000 pounds holding you in, uh, in your seat there. But it's just a great, thrilling experience. That's what I was going to ask because it's so high and it's crazy to see that it's on these chains that are pretty thin, but it's obviously going to be super safe for anybody. Oh, super safe for anybody. I mean, the, the seats, I mean, the ride, we've been making the Starflyer now uh, for nearly 20 years. The, there's 35 Starflyers around the world, um, but it's just that the seats are contoured and they have a high wall on them. Uh, super safe seating system. So as I say, every chair has a, a seat belt uh, that connects an in-between leg harness. Each one of those actually is monitored by the controller, so if any one of those on the entire ride isn't connected properly, then the ride will not start, it will not let you go. So, uh, and we can actually identify which one's not connected, go around, check it, make sure it's connected, get the signal from the operator and uh, look out, then you go. Buckled in, ready to go. I've got pretty tight harness on here, and then this guy is not coming out, and I managed to convince Quinn to ride. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> too bad, cause he's in. <laughs> I'm nervous. I am too. I feel like a little kid though. My oh, feet, oh no, we're going. Oh. There, there it is. There was no okay. time for that. <laughs> okay. I can see Volcano Bay immediately. Yeah. Oh no, I just looked down. I just looked down. <laughs> Wait, where's Epcot? Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh! Whoa! <laughs> Are we still so climbing? Are we still climbing? Oh my gosh, you guys. This, this is the scariest thing ever. Uh, can you look down? Oh, I think we're at the, we're like at the top now. Whoa! Whoa! That, there's nothing, there's nothing down there. There's nothing down there. Okay, we're at the Space Mountain. I see, what else can I see? Oh! Uh, You know what? It feels nice and cool up here. It's very breezy. <laughs> oh, we are slowing down a little bit. Uh, this is quite pleasant. Once you kind of get get over the the 450 feet in the air, it uh it gets pretty nice. And I like that we're on chains because we're still kind of like so, oh 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 we're going way faster now.
anything quite like that. That was pretty amazing. I was telling the guys earlier, like, I've done skydiving, I've jumped out of a plane, and I don't get scared very easily. But that was a pretty cool sensation. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. Absolutely amazing. A little bit scary. <laughs> just, just a little bit scary. But it's exactly what I wanted. Oh, it was so good. I could see Space Mountain. That was exciting. Volcano Bay is like right there. Uh, let's go again. <laughs> that was absolutely incredible. It is not like anything that I've done before. Highly recommend it, especially if you're a thrill seeker. And if you're a little bit afraid of heights, just don't lay down. You'll be fine. You can get tickets online, save a few dollars at starflyer.com or right here in person. It opens tomorrow, June 1st. Let us know if you guys are going to try it.